What's going on, guys? Um, this is my afterthoughts for the uh, Andre Durrell versus Arthur Abraham. I tried to post a video up right after the fight, but for some reason, I was having trouble uploading my video. Um, after the fight, my homeboy called me, you know, asking me what I thought about the fight, and he was saying, you know, uh, Arthur Abraham, he likes Arthur Abraham. He's like, you know, Arthur Abraham, uh, he didn't mean to do it on purpose. Oh, really? He, he kind of meant to do this on purpose. Damn, he's holding his head down. Damn, stop. Shit. Oh, what about this? Really? Hold him and hit him. <laughs> Hold him, push him down and hit him. Getting frustrated. So he tried to do that on purpose, too. Uh, that's what you call frustration when you can't uh, get a hold of somebody. Carl Frost was getting frustrated. He was doing the same deal. Hitting behind the head, holding, hitting, you know. Um, you know, then my homeboy said, you know, well, he could have continued. He should have continued. He was acting. And I said to him, I said, you know, Arthur Abraham is probably one of the biggest punchers in that division. I mean, he got devastating power. And you know what? When you... If somebody, whoever Arthur Abraham's fighting, say you're fighting Arthur Abraham, and then you get on your knees and you let him get a free blow, you know, your brain rattles all in your in your skull, you'd be a fool to continue, man, because you already softened up for the kill. I've seen that happen to, I want to say, Rockman. I've seen Rockman. It was a heavyweight, and the bell had rung. And he got caught after the bell. And he was winning the fight clearly. I think it was Rockmine. And he got hurt. I'm talking about he was walking stupid. And uh, the next round, he got stopped. So, I mean, it's whatever, man. I mean, I don't think the guy was acting. I actually do think something wasn't right, you know, especially at the end of the fight. You know, dude actually really thought he lost. <laughs> he really thought he lost. Um... Uh, could have been a delayed reaction when he got hit and whatever. You know, you never know. I'm not in the man's body. I don't know. But Arthur Abraham took a cheap shot at him because he couldn't get a hold of him. I thought Andre Durrell went out box his man all night. And he was doing it. He would, I, hey, me personally, I thought he would have uh, finished out uh, the 11th and 12th round. Uh, probably would have did some more running and he would have he would have won on scorecards. He would have won on the scorecards. Um, there was a point where uh, Arthur Abraham caught Andre Durrell. I think it, I think it was a, a ninth round, and it counted as a, a slip. There wasn't no slip. Ooh. Nah, there wasn't no slip. That was a knockdown. I don't care what anybody say. Durrell is hurt. He's hurt. He gets out the round, though, and gets his legs back. But right there, boy, if it was about another minute left. Ooh. Ooh. That motherfucker just, that motherfucker just trying to take his, take his head off, boy. Ooh. 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 Even though they didn't give uh, Arthur Abraham that credit for that knockdown, I thought Darrell had a uh, knockdown. You know, it's questionable. Arthur Abraham's head flew all up in the ropes. <laughs> he looks stupid. I mean, he dropped his ass. The ropes caught him. He looking stupid right now. He got a stupid face. <laughs> Woo. It's real slippery in that corner. He gonna slip at the end of the fight too. Slip in the corner with all that water. Ooh. Personally, I think he did it on purpose. Um... Pissed off because he couldn't win. He needed a knockout. He needed a knockout to win. So guess what? 
hit the man when he's down. Hopefully he can continue. You soften him up. You, you, he was real softened up. Yeah, he caught him with a nice shot in the eighth round, and he had him hurt. Andre Drell was hurt. His legs was kind of gone. But he, he recovered in the 10th round, I thought. You know, so when the opportunity presented itself to get another blow in, you know, because he'd been, he been hitting him after the, after the ref that said break so many times, and he, he hit him again. He don't care, you know. He didn't care. Okay. Come on, man. Seriously. I mean, I know it was a, it was just a hair under the belt line, but you act like he got <laughs> all five knuckles under your sack and lifted them up. Come on now. He just said he just got knocked out. Let him breathe. But he think he lost. <laughs> I think he lost, man. First, I, I, I looked at this again because, you know, I thought he was active, man. But dude really think he got knocked out. <laughs> he said he got dropped. Is this, is this Oscar worthy or is he for real? Like, I, I really don't know if he's faking. I don't know. He, he, he got me fooled. Maybe he really was disoriented. Arthur Abraham is a big puncher. But at the end of the day, I hope Andre Drill is okay. Um, I really do. Guys that fight like that, you know, they just they dirty. They real dirty. But, you know, it was a cool fight up until the, the end. You know, he was, he was putting on the show. He was clearly winning unanimously. Uh, you know, Arthur Abraham has no boxing skills whatsoever. None. He just goes into the shell, and then he just tries to come at you and just start throwing winging punches. I mean, uh, Andre Drew needs to stop uh, jumping back with his head chin out like that. I mean, seriously. You know, and he needs to learn how to uh, clinch effectively. Don't just hold, you know, do something while you're in there. Kind of like Andre Ward, you know. Um, that's it, man. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a good fight until the, the dirtiness started happening. But anyway.